Welcome friends, my name is Devin Poth and today I'll be showing you how to create a glowing Kang Tao neon sign from Cyberpunk 2077 in Blender. I will be taking things slow and step by step I have the keys being displayed in the bottom here. Firstly, let's say goodbye to our good friend the cube here. We're then going to add a Blender text object. We're going to rely quite heavily on the Blender font system, which I'll show you in a second, but for now the text object that you just added, you want to rotate it on the x-axis by 90 degrees. The way that you do that is by hitting R, then X, then 90 on your key on your numpad, and you should see it plop uh, into front view here. There we go. Now we're going to look at those font settings. So zoom in a little bit. You can also hit the period key on the numpad if you have moved yourself into a strange position like that. If you hit the period key, it will just zoom into that object. Now, when you have the text selected, you're going to click here. This is the Blender Object Data Properties. Um, this is, these are also where you would change the font settings. So, firstly, we're going to add some extrude under the Geometry tab. Here is the extrude. You're going to make this 0 0.03, sorry, 0 0.03 meters. Uh, that basically just makes the text a bit thicker, as you can see. You're also going to add some bevel depth of 0.1. This just rounds out the edges. You can go higher if you would like. Um, I would say that if you are going to add a lot of bevel depth to something, make sure that none of the characters uh, overlap, as you can see over there, uh, when you add too much. For us, we're just going to go with 0.01 bevel depth. Then on our text object still, we're going to add a new material. It's always good practice to name your materials, something that you'll know what it is if you read it later. So for us, we're just going to name it. Now, you're going to change the surface from principled BSDF to emission. You can do it. You can do this with the principled BSDF. You can do anything with the principled BSDF. But just in terms of less settings for a beginner, we're going to switch the surface to emission, which gives us a choice of color. Now the Kang Tao symbol is very, very orange. So basically just pick an orange that looks good on your side. It doesn't have to be exact as you'll be changing things later. Strength, you want to go up to 12. Um, you kind of, for glowing, you kind of want to start at around 8. It really depends on how heavily you want that to glow. In Cyberpunk, for instance, there are a lot of signs that when you look at them at a distance, they are very glowing, but when you come up to them, they glow less. So that's kind of up to you. The way that we get this text to actually look like it's glowing is under Render Properties, you want to change the rendering engine and make sure that it's on EV. Then you basically just want to tick Bloom. And if you go to Viewport Shading here, Glowing Text, just like that. Now, to change the characters. So Blender's font system will basically allow you to type whatever you want in here, for instance. Um, for us, we're going to keep this as text. First things first is you want to change the Blender font that it is using. The way that we change that is you select the text object and then under the font settings here, there will be another tab for font. Here under regular, you just want to open this up. Now if you're on Windows, you're going to use something called msjh.ttc. Now, the reason that we're using this one specifically on Windows is I went through Windows font systems and basically just found a font that its default was showing me Chinese characters, and I went for that one. So this is the one we're going for on Windows. If you're on another system, I would recommend just going through your font settings and finding a font where its default preview is in Chinese characters. I mean, it may take you a little bit to realize what's a Chinese character and what's a Korean character, but it's also, it's also very easy to just Google and get a font, a true type font that shows uh, Chinese characters. So we're going to open this MSGH font on our windows and you'll see not much changes. The font does change a little bit in the viewport, but we have it selected here. Now the way that we get Kang Tao is in the description of this YouTube video are two Chinese characters next to each other. That is the Kang Tao symbols that I got from Cyberpunk 2077. I personally used Google Translate Photo Mode in order to get the symbols out of the Cyberpunk 2077 poster. So they are right, you can, you can double check them. But in the description of this YouTube video, 
In the description of this YouTube video, you will find two Chinese characters. Now just copy them for now, and inside Blender, while you have the text object selected, hit Tab, backspace all of the text, and just paste the two Chinese characters, hit Tab to go out of edit mode, and there you have Kang Tao glowing in Blender. Now we're going to add a little bit of a frame to this Kang Tao symbol, and the way that we're going to do that is by adding a mesh circle. Now before you change anything, change the amount of vertices to 4. This basically creates a plane with no face, which is exactly what we want. Enter edit mode, make sure that all the vertices are selected by just hitting A, then hit R, X, 90. This rotates it on the X axis by 90 degrees, just like we did with our text earlier. You're also going to want to rotate this just so that it is in the correct orientation, so that it is square. This will make sense all in a second. Now, the next thing that you want to do is you want to extrude, then hit S for size, so that you're extruding on the size. Now, that's about the thickness I want the frame of the symbol to be. We're just going to switch modes here. But that's about, the, that's about the thickness I want. You can see it's just a little bit thicker than the characters themselves. Now, the next thing I want to do is just align this with this. I just want to align this with the Kang Tao symbols. So easily what you do here is grab a side by just square box selecting it. Hit G, then X to make sure that it only moves on the X axis. And basically you want it to just be bigger than the sign which is super simple here, we're going to go G, Z to lock to the Z axis and for this side we're going to do the same where we G, X and we just get it in here the same with the bottom now the next thing to do for your bracket is to select all vertices go to side view mode which is 3 on your numpad and then extrude all of the vertices on the y-axis just a little bit so that they cover the sign and basically just move this into position so that it covers your sign nicely and now you have framed Kang Tao symbols now we are going to add a material to this this is also going to be an emission and uh, it's just going to be a dull red, basically. So just about there. We're going to move that to about 10 for emission. And you can see it's kind of pink. And there we go. A Kang Tao glowing neon sign from Cyberpunk 2077. I really hope that this tutorial helped you today. And if it did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up and a subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. And I hope you have a great day. Thank you.